I still need to do that. I'm slacking on it. I need to make an alt Twitch account so that way I can gamble in these streams. Oh, it's Labyrinth. Oh my goodness. Set three pass. Also, like... I, like, you just had to set your mat on top of the other one. And somehow you both messed up so bad. <laughs> the black sleeves. Yeah, the black sleeves on a black mat is rough. But... If you play against someone who has black sleeves on a black mat on remote duels and their lighting's bad, it's like, oh my gosh, it almost feels like you're cheating. Like, even though you're technically not, it almost feels like you are. But they're gonna go summon Fenrir, activate e Telly, gets hit with Ash Blossom, Fenrir effect to go search. The fact that they didn't lead with Fenrir, oh, okay, they're gonna get hit with Skill Drain now on the Fenrir effect. Okay. Do they have Book of Moon maybe to try to deal with that? Like go battle phase, attack, Fenrir effect, target skill drain, chain book. No, they do have another uh, Italian hand though. Messing up uh, zones on a match where it matters could be annoying. I don't, I don't know, the zones are fine. The zones are set up fine. Also, I mean, remote dual zones are, like, impossible to do. They're, like, backwards, flip-flopped. I just have to, like, most of the time I just ask my opponent, like, yo, like, that, this is, that, that is there, this is here, that's here. And also, it, it's so crazy that people don't know, like, what monster zones are called what. Like, if I asked you which monster zone is this one, like, the one that they're pointing at right now, is this two or four? I bet you most of you can't answer this. It's so crazy. But, like, I didn't know that people didn't know that stuff. I thought that stuff was, like, standard. Because, like, I play on DB, so, like, you know what I mean? Four, four, it's four, no? This one? Because, like, okay, and then what would you think is, like, this? What would you think is this one? So, y'all think this one before, this one's two? What about OCG zones? They write right to left. That's fake. That's not real. <laughs> OCG players aren't real. Wait, is that a psychic wielder? Huh? Wait, they brought out... Wait. What is this deck? They brought out Neon instead? I mean, it has, like, rank 3 shenanigans in it. But it's probably not virtual... Oh, Phantom Knight. It's Phantom Knight. Oh my gosh. I would not have guessed that. It has been a while since I've seen Phantom Knight. But okay, yeah, they're gonna go normal summon out stained. Yeah, now they're reading the neon. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, it's been a while. Okay, so they're going to link those off, go up in the Cherubini. They're reading Cherubini. I guess this deck does a little bit through Skill Drain, but not enough. Because it's not like Fog Blades do anything under Skill Drain. But maybe they play the other Phantom Knight traps. Like, Sword? I bet you Phantom Knight's Sword would be nice. Wouldn't it be, like, crazy? If we have Ash for their big welcome, or for their welcome, then it might be really good. But Cherubini effect to go dumb. Dump crap. Wait, do it. Hold on. Go through your deck one more time for that graph. And go through the whole deck like you did again. Because I was trying to count for Ash Blossoms. I only counted two. So go through that deck one more time. Because if we only have two... And the third one's probably in the hands. Now we're going to go graph effect. Oh, it's going to be too hard this time. Yeah. Oh, no. O3 in deck. Okay. Uh, Phantom Knight's insane. Phantom Knight? I wouldn't say it's insane, but it's also cool if you, like, don't have to summon Seer to Cherubini zone. Could do it just to prove a point. Have you done a gov testing? Nope. Nope. I still have YCSs for this season. Or for this format. Uh, wait, I looked away. Why is this resolving under skill drain? It dumps for cost. Yeah. Dumps for cost. That was one thing that's always great about Cherubini. Dumping for cost is broken. It feels broken. Fan Knight is crazy with the correct build. Nah, nah, nah. That is it's copium. It's copium. It's copium. It's copium. Okay, they can link into what? To Rusty, I guess. Um, no, it's probably, I was gonna say, it's probably something else. That way we can Seer Summon back. And then that at least gives us a chance to outskill Dream with Access Code. 
Sears should get destroyed because of skill drain. Uh, <laughs> fair, fair. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Nah, it, do it doesn't work like that because uh, skill drain happens to negate the BA. So that way it won't die because it has its effect negated. But now they're going to go in the access code. They can go access code effect target unicorn. Yup. May as well do that. Access code effect, banish itself, pop skill drain. They're reading access. Oh, they don't know. They don't know. Standard trap players not knowing common interactions. Yep, access code, banish itself off the field, pop skill drain. You can't respawn. You can't respawn. You can't respawn. Flip second skill drain. Yeah, probably. That's like the standard trap player. Not knowing to like play around access code, banish itself to pop skill drain. This uh, interaction's been around for like three years. It, just, it felt like a decently common interaction the entire time it's been around. And then... Yeah, but I would love to see them just flip a second skill drain and be like, Oh yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and then the last card's Big Welcome. But yeah, they're just reading over the opponent's graveyard effects. So they do have, like, Neon, uh, Stain Greaves. Okay, so... They could Stain Greaves to summon out Torn Scales from hand. Yep, bring out Torn Scales, and then... Uh, if they don't have anything there, Torn Scales will be able to discard and dump Ancient Cloak. And Ancient Cloak can search them Boots, which is, like, more extenders, more free cards. No, it doesn't do that. Okay, decides to go up into Rusty next. Maybe... Huh, what's that last card in hand, then, if they didn't want to discard it for Torn Scales? Because I feel like Torn Scales effect there is nice. Full combo. That's how, it is nice. It is nice. Oh... Oh, I like that. I like that. Activate Big Welcome. Slam the Lady Effect down. It's boom. No time for Ash. Bam. Bring that out. Wapow. Bam. Bring out Lovely. Boo. Bounce back, Lady. Lovely. Bow. Bang. Pop the Rusty. You're out of here. You're out of here. Yup. Yup. The no torn scales effect looking real crazy now. Looking real crazy now. Until the, uh, I just want them to activate the craziest card in the game right now. Come on, do it. I don't know what the last card could be for you to not torn scales effect. I have no idea, but... Oh. Wait, we did know that. Huh. So, we didn't discard that for torn scales? That... Huh. I feel like we would've. Yeah, I feel like we would've, right? He drained on the search. Did they? They did, you're right. Okay. But either way, why don't why wouldn't you get rid of Fenrir for torn skills? I feel like that's I, I feel like it's like one of the I feel like that's like the point of playing Fenrir in this deck almost. Like not the point, but like that's like one big bonus of it. Is like, your deck has a discard card. You know, Fenrir always gives you a good discard. But they're going to go Big Welcome, grab Ariana, normal Ariana, effect to go search. The opponent does have Fenrir, so we will probably just see Fenrir on res to banish here. They're going to grab out Stovey Torby. Uh, I mean, you have to. I mean, you don't have to. You can hold it. I guess, and wait and do it on Ariana in the future. Maybe see if they mess up and hit Lady. I'm, I'm actually fine with that. I'm fine with that. Seeing if they mess up. They're going to go Stovey effect. No, they didn't mess up. Okay. The, the mistake was to see if they just summon Lady first. But they needed to activate Stovey first, which they did. Stovey goes set Welcome from deck. Lady can special itself out. Actually, is it even worth doing that now? Because we get Ariana banished. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, it's still just worth it. Yeah, getting Lady on board is insane. But they're gonna go Fenrir, banish Ariana, summon Lady. With the quickness, with the quickness. You better do it with the quickness. It wasn't quick enough. I didn't like that one. Okay, but summon Lady, pass. There's just no more plays, right? Like, our trap can't be activated till next turn. Yo, okay. 
pass play. They drew Imperm. Their graveyard does not have any follow-up. Fenrir effect goes search. And then they have welcome. Big welcome. A little bit of follow-up through engine. So Fenrir, go search Fenrir. Yeah. Also see dangers in their deck too. Fenrir also works with the dangers pretty well. Just because, like, even though you summon Fenrir, you're still going to have five cards in hand afterwards. Oh, also, shout out to Smoother Pickle. I did, I, I did not like that. Shout out to Smoother Pickle for the follow. I'm already committed. And then shout out to Messy Neasy for the follow. Pat Yo for the follow. Baldur's one for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But Fenrir, search Fenrir. I think they attempted to say Battle Phase there, and then the opponent went Activate Welcome, and then Chain Lady. And then chain big welcome. Wow. Chaining a lot there. You didn't need to... Uh, well, I guess it depends what they summon. Uh, yeah, I guess they want to bounce it. So that way they can't get Fenrir effect to banish this turn. Which means they... I'm assuming this is in the battle then. They're going to set tears of the overroot. They're going to get the summon off welcome. We know the opponent has double Fenrir in hand. Plus a blank. Wait. I want to say, how'd they just set big welcome? Okay. Okay. Wait. But they never summoned off welcome. They're messing up. Slow down. There's no need for speed. You forgot to summon off welcome. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. That's so tough. Yeah, they forgot to summon off welcome. <laughs> They were like five steps ahead and just forgot to bring out Ariana. Just too fast. Just too fast. They really are just moving too fast. They're they actually moved so fast they confused themselves with like four chain links there. But they went special Fenrir set imperm pass. I mean, if you're Phantom Knight, you gotta feel good about that. You know, I mean, hopefully they didn't realize the opponent forgot. Otherwise, you know, they should have told them. But Tears of the Overroot, target your set Imperm. And then thinking on the target, engraved to set. And they said when Lab gets a chain link 5, it can get a tiny bit trippy, but skill diff. <laughs> it's like. Uh, I don't, I don't, it was, chain link was so simple. It felt so simple. It felt like normal chain link. Normal Lab chain link. But, I guess it is what it is. They're going to set e Telly to their field. They said we're not going to set a monster to your field because we're going to end the game. Yup, and the opponent didn't chain Lady to the tears of their overroot. If they did, the opponent would have chained Imperm on it anyways. Um, now... They... No, right? Chaos Angel seems crazy. I guess they've just fallen so far behind because they forgot to summon off Welcome that it's just like a ridiculous difference and how easy it should have been able to go for game here compared to like how much thought has to go into it now. I mean, they could still just like battle phase attack. Yeah, you can go battle phase attack. You can go Chaos Angel, banish Itali, but like if this was the line that you thought of, right? Like, if you came up with a line and you committed to it, shouldn't we have maybe not set e Telly to their field? Oh. Yeah, maybe should we have not set e Telly to their field and maybe should have set Torn Scales to their field? Because if we're going to Chaos Angel banish, may as well banish a resource from their graveyard off out of it instead of e Telly. Um, Yeah. So now the opponent's going to go Ariana, effect a search. You can't have Starlight Ladies and be bad at the game. I actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I know one Labyrinth player with Starlight Rarity who's actually good with the deck. I'm not going to lie. That is Brian Chen. Yep. That's because all of us, I feel like he probably just plays with max cards every time. I didn't even pay attention to his lab deck, but it's probably just max rarity every time. I know he's talking about it. Joe, oh, oh they're going to hit them with the, oh, 
the harpies. It's actually so sad that he's gotten hit with harpies that many times. It's just the downside of playing trap decks. It's just happened to happen on camera multiple times. But they're gonna special summon out Fenrir. It's crazy how Fenrir is just an engine by itself. If your opponent forgets to summon off Welcome. But now we're gonna go battle. Fenrir attack Ariana. Fenrir effect the banish. We could have bounced it. Oh, well, they're gonna banish Lady Face down. They let it go. Really? Okay. I guess they could just save Big Welcome and hit Fenrir and then set Welcome. Summon Stovey. Grady Bo Grady Boogers here. I can't I can't ever say that. Grady Boogers. Boogers. I don't know. Boogers. It's just a fake word. Not real. That will be fixed once we get uh transaction rollback. Duh, transaction rollback is so toxic. <laughs> that card is so toxic. But we're gonna go normal summon and then neon effect to summon out. Wait. How? Okay. Okay. So. They. Yeah. What What can they do? Big welcome. Bounce neon. Yeah. I mean that goes. That is. Neon effect. The shuffle back. They're going to read over Tracker. I mean, they get Ariana. They get Welcome. They get Stovey. The game is over. The game is over. The game can't go much further than here. So, I feel like Phantom Knight is just wasting time now. I guess you may as well see if they miss their whole next chain link. I was going to say, it, if they miss their next chain link, you have a chance. But if they remember it, then they get a draw, they get the set, they get the summon. No, they didn't even remember the Ariana effect, but never mattered. Uh, never even needed it. Okay, so going on to the next game now. We're going to get to see Phantom Knight go first. We'll be able to see what they can end on versus Labyrinth specifically, because, you know, Fogblade is really good in the other matchups. Not the greatest into this matchup. Maybe just having one of them set would be fine. Just for like the Ariana. People acting like Ariana has a secret effect. It does. It does. It says draw one. Oh, oh, oh. But the real secret part of it is when it summons Lady or Lovely. That's the part that no one knows. Ariane has a secret effect. Nah, nah. They both have the secret effect. No, no one knows what those cards do. They don't. They don't know about the draw set technique. But they're gonna go summon Fenrir, Fenrir effect. Oh, I see the opponent has double droll driver ash. Ah, yeah, seems really bad. They're gonna need at least a furniture with that driver. At least a furniture. Because they gotta start playing quick. The secret effect is not being once per turn. Ooh. <laughs> now they're gonna go talons. Look at that hand! I would spin back Driver for sure. Now they have Fenrir, Ash, Torn Scales. That is a little bit rough. Like, I can't tell what's in their hand exactly though. I can see Torn Scales and I see, I think it's Seer, but it could be Graph. I can't tell. But I guess we'll find out depending on how they combo here. So hi, DB Grinder. Hey, what's up? But summon out Torn Skills. Oh yeah, Gamma is also in the deck. But okay, bring that out. Uh, we don't know what Tactics does. Spin Gamma back to Grave. You know how many times I've, uh, what's it called? Wait, uh, the a Pointer. You know how many times a Pointer has been trapped Dust Shoot and it's spun back the deck instead of Vanishing? I have seen that. A hundred times. 
They're going to ash the Torn Scale effect there. Yep, that is fine. Pass turns. Now our opponent only has Droll in hand. They got hand looped. Well, no, they have Droll plus a uh, driver, but, I mean, you know, it's just it's just furniture discard. Okay, so they're going to pass. They draw Fog Blade. And now they can go Fenrir Search. Nope, they're going to go Effect Discard Fog Blade. Okay, I guess maybe we just want Fog Blade Engraver as another extender. I was thinking just search Fenrir, discard Fenrir again. Uh, keep the Fog Blade for Ariana in case they top deck it. But Fenrir, grab Fenrir, they drop Droll. Okay, it's so tough though. Uh, spin Gamma back to Grave. What does the judge do if you knew War Effect to put the bottom and they shuffled the card instead? Uh, I mean, you just. Put the card back to the bottom. <laughs> it's not like it's not like anything changes, right? Like the deck was still the rest of the deck is still just gonna be random. And the card was known that was put back. If it was an unknown card that was put back, then it's tough. Then that's when it's like it's probably just a game loss. Since you can't really confirm what card it was. Uh can normal ash make sure Beanie you know? Uh yeah. They could have if they had Ash in hand. They definitely could have. Um, they did have Seer in hand though, so I don't know how far that would really take them while under Droll. Especially with how good Ash is. It's probably better just to hold Ash, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what they had. Probably normal Ash is better there though, just to get your engine rolling. It's probably, probably a way to end the game. Because you have the extra Fenrir body too. But okay, on to game number three now. We're going to get to see Lab go first. Are they just going to go set pass? No, they're going to go activate Pot of Prosperity to go banish. Banish six. But theoretically, the top deck is different now if they shuffle. It, I mean, you got to think about it like this. It was random before. It's random after. So it, that's just the way to think about it. Random before, random after. Banish Prosperity. Look at the top six. That's why I like... If it's about to become your turn, and you're like, Age, you cut my deck, and the opponent's like, I don't remember. It's like, okay, sure, I'll shuffle, here you go, cut my deck real quick, doesn't matter. It was random before, it was random before, it's random after. As long as the order's random, that's all that matters. But, I like seeing these Shizu shufflers in their deck. I think those cards are extremely good in the side deck of that deck. You can discard them for free, and get value. Uh, it was random anyways, yep, yep. Now they're going to go normal Ariana. Ariana effect. The opponent hit him with a double thumbs up. They say, yup. Go grab out Ku Clock. Oh, so they're going to try to play this turn, aren't they? Might get punished hard by Ash or Bell. Bell has become less and less popular recently. <laughs> yep, right as I say that, they get hit with Bell. It really has become less and less popular, though. I think it's also because people are starting to, like, play outs to Bell in lab, like, cross out and stuff. The format's also extremely wide open, so preparing, like, for Branded in lab, which is really what Bell is for, is a little bit rough. Bell's not even, like, the best against Branded. They're gonna go normal summon out Boots, so they have a level 3 extender. Uh, five rainbow is not good, but still fun discard. Tackle Crusader. That's, that's a fun discard. I love that card. Shout out Ishizu Lab in tier format. Never fully getting labbed out of here. Gosh, just Ishizus. They're so wild. They're all such good. They're all so good. Okay, so normal boots, special boots. And then... The opponent has Welcome set, I'm pretty sure. And they do have Labyrinth, Labyrinth on field, so that gives them a pop. But, I mean, this spot is fine. You know, if you're not going to pop Boots Normal Summon, you're not going to pop here. But now they're going to go summon out another Psychic. Becoming a little bit more scary, because a pop's becoming less valuable now. That Cherubini's going to be able to protect itself, or whatever it points underneath. So that's a little bit tough. Yeah, they're thinking of their line. 
I also remember him with Dolce, with the uh, the Vernisifs and Ishizus during tier format. People trying to play that. That deck was cool. But they're going to go up into Coral Dragon. Wow. <laughs> wow. And then they're going to get Wheeler Effect to Pop Ariana. That is cr If they made Brio right now, I would have taken a picture and sent it to my buddy. Because every time we played Phantom Knight and we got those two on board, he'd be like, oh, just make Brio. Ha 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 ha. And we never played a Synchro in the deck. But they actually play Coral Dragon. That's so funny. This deck gives me level 3 sprite vibes. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is kind of cool how it is pretty much just the exact same thing. Like, two level 3s is full combo. But now they're going to banish boots, go search, grab out shade, which is an extender. If they play Baron in their deck too, they're animals. Uh, Ishizu Lab was low-key probably insane. Nah, 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 she's, nah, I'm not gonna lie, during full tier power format, there was just nothing that could compete, even though that deck had, like, Ishizu cards, it just can't compete, they're reading over, oh, uh, ha, they probably think that it was the other psychic monster, the one that wasn't a tuner, because that was the one that they had pulled up on stream, yep, Oh, they might play Baron because they play Fenrir. Very possible. Yeah, definitely possible. But it is going to be wild if we get to see it summoned. So they're going to activate Shades, summon out. Anything? Activate Welcome. Yeah, activate Welcome. Go summon. They did have Coral Dragon effect, but it's kind of risky to discard and pop. I guess it depends on what they have in hand exactly. But they're going to summon out Lovely. Labyrinth Labyrinth's going to allow them to pop. They're reading over their cards. Thinking if they want to pop like the level 3 off field. Maybe pop Shade. I think the level 3 is fine. But at the same time, didn't you activate Welcome there to play around Baron? Okay. And then they're going to go Lovely pop Shade. Probably should have started with that. And then lovely pop boots on the new chain. If you're, you know, if you're playing around Baron, you may as well full commit and, like, guarantee you're beating the Baron. You don't want Baron to stick here. Baron in a simplified game stayed scary. I uh, think he thought it was Coral Dragon Destroy, but it was Wheeler that destroyed Ariana. I have no idea. They looked over and started reading the card in Grave. But, yup, that card does do to pop. It does do to pop. Not gonna lie, uh, I'd be mega triggered if my opponent read the same card three times in a row. Uh, I don't know, it happens. It happens. I've definitely read the same card multiple, multiple times in a row before. Jacob Wally's the homie. Gonna be the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world within a year. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll, I'll let him have second place. I'll let him have second place. <laughs> Oh, they actually played Baron. I saw the other. I saw another Synchro in their extract. I had to have been that. Coral Dragon discard the wings to pop the back row. They're gonna read over the wings real quick. That can banish to summon out boots. Okay. Also, they have Torn Scales in hand, but they haven't drawn a card this turn. I'm very. It's very interesting that they decided to start with Boots over Torn Scales, but maybe it's because they thought Torn Scales was going to be outed if it was normal summon, while Boots may not be. We do have Wings that can banish and summon back, but all we get is a Link 2 and then Coral Dragon draw. I don't think that's going to get us anywhere. Yeah, I don't think that's going to get us anywhere. So, yeah, they're reading over their own big welcome right now. We're going to go Banish Wings, Summon Out Boots, use those monsters now to make Dark Charmer, Coral Dragon Effect to draw one. Also, the boots that was brought out off of the wings should be banished. They drew e Telly there. Can't he go Dark and the Rusty? Nah, they have Skill Drain on field. <laughs> yeah, they have Skill Drain on field. Skill Drain is just going to, like, win the game from here I think it's very hard to beat that card with monsters weird right 
Weird. If they allow open game state, they can pop Lovely with Coral. And that kills the follow-up. Uh... Yeah. Yep. But they got hit with the skill drain. Unfortunate. But they're going to pass. I think they drew Ariana for turn. Which isn't like the greatest thing ever. Because we're under skill drain. But it's fine. We could still normal it. And use the effect to search if we want to. And just chain big welcome. If we want to go through to get a trap card to hand. And that allows our labyrinth labyrinth to have a pop on it. Ah, I wrote that a while ago before the drain. Fair, fair. But now they... I don't know. I mean, they're thinking here about what they're going to do. It's probably, I mean, whatever it is going to be rather simple. We're in a very simplified game state with skill dream. Maybe just thinking about the Dark Charmer and what that can search. We're going to go big welcome, bounce back Dark Charmer. Welcome effect to set itself from the graveyard. Okay, so now we have a pop setup with a summon of a big body. They're still under skill drain. Go ahead and attack them. And then, pass turn. Okay, they have nothing in their groove. They draw Ash Blossom. Oh, okay. Ash Blossom can stop the welcome, which stops the pop. Which means they have Torn Skills plus level 3, which is Cherubini. And the dump Ancient Cloak. And the summon out Torn Skills. And the Ancient Cloak in the boots. That's four bodies. That's Axis Code. That out Skill Drain. How do we keep playing from there, though? Uh, we went through Shade, so we can't go into that. Oh, also we get to bring out Neon from deck. Oh, wait, oh, that might be a better way to do the combo then. Because I know we get the access code, and we beat the board. But I'm trying to think how we actually combo combo after that. I'm surprised uh, the time is still so high. Yeah, there's still eight minutes left. I mean, it's not like that much time. Not that much time. But, yeah, it does feel... This this match has felt like a very long match. But it's probably because, like, all the reading and stuff. That, that can definitely just, like, you know, bore the game down a little bit. Make it a little bit more boring. But, uh, also, shout out to Gob Mo for the follow... Mazanor69 for the follow and Genebi for the follow. Thank you, thank you. But they're gonna activate welcome. They went ah, chain ash. Yep. They have skill drain up, so they can ash that. And then go for Cherubini. Cherubini effect to go dump. Yep, that boots is supposed to be banished from the wings. I'm happy that they caught it. Wow, a whole turn later. At least it came up, though. It came up, and they caught it. I forgot that was even engraved, because I, I was thinking that card was banished. Boral Sword would go crazy. 3k big. 3k is kind of big. Wow. 3k would be nice. Um. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let, let's think through the line. Uh, the Cherubini Dump. They do play Graph and Seer in their deck, which I wasn't even thinking about. Dump Graph, Graph Effect Summon Seer, Unicorn, Cherubini, Access Code, not enough. Pass. Okay, that doesn't do enough. Uh, Ancient Cloak. Ancient Cloak, Boots, Summon Back Torn Scales, Summon Out Boots. Three and the four and the access code pop. But then all we have is boots for trap card pass. Huh. Yeah, seems like we needed a... Seems like we our win condition was uh, this match not being streamed. And that our opponent didn't catch the boots in the graveyard. I think that was the win condition. Is that this match was not streamed. So that way no one else caught that. But now they're going to go graph bring out Seer. Yeah. <laughs> But obviously, you know, I mean, they they were just messed up. So they're going to go ahead and banish the boots. But Graf bring out Seer. Yeah, it's not winnable. I don't, I don't think it's a winnable game. I mean, with what we have, with what we have, I don't even think this was the correct line. 
Because we should have just gone for... Oh, wait. Also, let me read Nian real quick. Let me read that card just to make sure I know exactly what it does. I'm not messing up. Because it says you just have to summon three and higher for the rest of the turn, right? Virtual World Neon. Okay. Let's see. What does this card do exactly? You can only summon level or rank three higher for the rest of the turn. Huh. They said IP with a link. Oh, wait, I look away for half a second, and the next play is IP with a link. <laughs> okay, well, they're gonna fix that. Okay. So, yeah, and they're just gonna read over the Cherubini real quick. Um, yeah, they definitely messed up. They were 100% supposed to dump Ancient Cloak and go for boots and do something like that. Just to get a fog blade. Because you may as well have a fog blade over not having one. And then you could have gone access code to pop lovely. And absolutely pray the opponent draws nothing ever again. Honestly, access code pop lovely is a lot better than it seems. Because you're only down by 19 life points and there's not a lot of time left. Because... When you think about it, our opponent will top deck something before the game's over, but will they top deck something before time runs out? Probably not. Hopefully not, but you know, time has come and gone. They didn't make the access code to pop lovely, so it's over. Said so he passed OMG. Yeah, yeah, they they didn't see the line. They're too focused on the skill drain now to think about Anything else? When they should be thinking, I don't have to beat Skill Drain. I just have to hope that your deck beats itself. But, yeah, they're going to summon out Torn Scales. Yeah, they said Seer doesn't go because Skill Drain. It is indeed negated. Hey, shout out to YOLO Faith for the follow. I hope they get a time extension. So much time was wasted. Nah, there's, there's no way you're going to get a time extension. Someone would have had to call Judge a while ago. When it was happening. Or they should like tell their opponent to go faster or something. 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 I mean. But it's just over. The game is just over. They don't need a time extension. Honestly I hope there's no time extension. Because then the, then the game ends faster. And the game's already over. The game's already done. Uh, just tuned in. Did he dump Nian off Cherubini? No, no. Nian was summoned off Itali. Yeah, summoned off Itali. But they're reading over the break sword. They're gonna strike that summon. So it's not gonna get its effect. They will get the seer effect though, to summon back out from the grave. Actually I don't even think they could activate break sword effect anyways, right? They only have one in grave. Oh no, they have double torn scale in grave. But Yeah. Just never mattered. Seer effect, bring out Graph. Could bring out Cherubini. And then we can get Cherubini effect to dump. But no, we go bring out Graph, Neon effect to summon. Overlay those. Make another break sword and then pass turn. They draw pick Welcome. Okay. Uh, reading 200 times a card and rerunning board state takes some time. Um, I mean, I don't know. The rerunning the game state only took like four seconds both times. I wouldn't give a time extension for that. You're not even supposed to give a time extension unless if it takes over one minute as a judge. But then they're going to go set pass. And I don't think any of those interactions really took a minute. I mean, them reading a card took a while, but no one called judge. Yep, yeah, they're just going to go ahead and scoop. They had a chance. Oh, they definitely would have lost. <laughs> yeah, they had Ariana. They had, yeah, drawing the big welcome on that like next turn would have been enough every time. Honestly, that Ariana would have been enough. Getting to attack him for 16 and just creating a big difference there. And then having strikes up. 
would have been too much. But, yeah, so that is going to be it for round five. So we are going to do round six now.